Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we are going to see op-amp as non-inverting amplifier. We will see the derivation and also we will design a circuit and test it using LT Spice. So, let's get started. So, we are going to use LM741 op-amp to design a non-inverting amplifier. So, firstly, talking about the pins, this pin, the pin with minus sign, is called as the inverting terminal. This pin with plus sign is called as the non-inverting terminal. These two pins plus and minus are for connecting the supply voltage and this is the output terminal. Basically a non-inverting amplifier is an amplifier wherein the output voltage is in phase with the input voltage. We will refer to the notes that I have prepared for seeing the input output relation. So this is the circuit for a non-inverting amplifier. So you can see that the input voltage is applied at the positive terminal that is at the non-inverting terminal of op-amp. Over here resistor RF and R1 are forming the feedback network and this node F is connected to this inverting terminal and hence this feedback is called as a negative feedback. Suppose if I would have connected this node F to this uh, non-inverting terminal then this would have become a positive feedback. But for amplifiers, we only use negative feedback connection. Positive feedback is used in oscillators. So now let's see the derivation part and determine the gain for this non-inverting amplifier. So over here, this node is represented by F and the voltage at this node F can be given by the voltage divider rule. So the voltage turns out to be R1 upon R1 plus RF times V out. By the concept of virtual ground, which states that the voltage at non-inverting terminal and at the inverting terminal are same when the op-amp is in negative feedback connection. So, we write here that V in that is the supplied voltage is equal to this Vf. And if you substitute this equation over here, then what you get is V in is equal to R1 upon R1 plus Rf into V out. Now, V out by V in is equal to R1 plus RF upon R1. And if you split this, then it turn becomes 1 plus RF by R1. So, the gain of op-amp when configured it in non-inverting configuration is 1 plus RF upon R1. So, over here by looking at the gain, you can see that the output voltage is in phase with the input. Now let's design a non-inverting amplifier and let's verify our results. So over here we are using the LM741 op-amp and firstly we will be connecting the supply voltages. So take two voltage sources being one like this and like this. Use wire to connect them like this. Like this and this is the common so now uh, this voltage source will be of 15 volts and this will be also of 15 volts so I will be connecting this uh, plus 15 and minus 15 to these respective terminals with the help of net labels so firstly I will extend wire like this and over here like this then I will right click over here. I will select label net. I will type plus VCC and I will place them over here. Press escape. Right click over here. Go to label net. I will name this net as VEE. I will place this and I will place this over here. Now they have been connected. If you want to see whether they are connected or not, right click, highlight net. So you can see they are, these two are connected. Now this much part of circuit is mandatory every time you use op-amp in any configuration. Although this supply voltage can be different for few cases. Now one should note that the output of op-amp will never exceed the supply voltage. Okay. So now comes the main part of uh, designing the amplifier. So uh, let's design an amplifier with a gain of 4, which means that our input signal will be amplified 4 times. So let's design a non-inverting amplifier for that. So if you see the formula over here, the gain 
okay v out by v in is the gain of amplifier and when i say that the gain has to be 4 in our case so 4 is equal to 1 plus rf upon r1 so the ratio of rf by r1 should be 3 is to 1 so uh, let's take two resistors okay like this i will rotate it i will place one over here and one over here and i will connect them like this this terminal will be connected to the output and this will be connected to ground like this now r2 by r1 should be 3 is to 1 so let's take r2 as 3k and r1 as 1k let's take a voltage source and connect it to this non-inverting terminal this part shall be grounded go to advanced and we will be giving a sine wave as the input so let's keep the dc offset as zero amplitude as one volt peak frequency as one kilohertz so now everything is done let's run the simulation and check our results so go to run stop time let's keep it as 10 milliseconds so first let's see the input signal so this is our input signal 1 volt peak and 2 volt peak to peak with frequency of 1 kilohertz let's see the output the output should be four times the input signal and it should be in phase with the input signal so i will click over here to maximize it see this is the input signal the one in green and the one in blue is the output signal so you can clearly see that one volt peak signal of input has been amplified by four times to give us the peak output of four and peak to peak of eight volts and also this signal is in phase so this is how non-inverting amplifier works now suppose if the output voltage is more than 15 that is our supplied voltage then the output will be saturated so in one way you can say that the output waveform will be clipped by some amount now in order to check that let's change some parameters over here let's keep the amplitude as 5 volts and now run it so this is the input and this is the output so over here you can see that the output waveform is getting clipped let's see the peak voltage okay, i will over here see it is 13.84 so usually when you supply 15 volts the op amp saturates at a few volts less only so it's usually between 13 to 14 volts so that is the maximum voltage that you can get so this was all about non-inverting amplifier so this is it for this video thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts or suggestions feel free to put them in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much